We've been talking about snakes in uh, southern Florida that can go through the sawgrass prairie. And um, we're gonna make some snakes today that will weave through our grass on another time. So um, we have these little reference sheets that can help you um, see, uh, these are just kind of illustrations of snakes you might find in southern Florida. And then this one just shows you different ways that snakes have uh, color and pattern. So well, some of the snakes, like the indigo snake, are just one color. Uh, you might have some speckles on the scales. You might have stripes or spots. Cross bands are the ones that go over. Um, stripes go a long ways. Okay, and then we have, you know, blotches, rings, and diamonds. So I made some diamonds. It was a little more of an abstract color on here. Um, so I'm going to just show you how to finish this one off because I have um, these scales. So basically, you just make a little W and then underneath the bump, you connect it like that. And what I was doing here is I just made three lines at the base of each scale and I kind of gave it a little bit of a pattern as well. Uh, another thing to do is to get a pair of scissors that you can have the head curved. Now this one I just had to go straight. I'm going to show you two ways to do that. You can um, you know, curve along here and just make this here. Some people um, draw and just give themselves a guide if they're not sure how to make that curve and cut the corners off. Okay, and then um, you just make this little L like that, and there's your triangle, and you have an I, and I'll just do that backwards now. Okay, so then I can maybe make uh, some rings here. So I can color that in. All right, so then if you want to have one that's a little wavier, um, you cut the corners off. And then you can just kind of trim in just a little bit. If you do too much, it makes it kind of too thin to work with and it'll probably rip. But then on this side, you want to come in this way. Okay. And then you can decorate that one as well. So that kind of gives you a couple ways to decorate your snakes. Um, and then uh, when you're all done, um, you should make sure your name is on the back of each one so that when it's time to weave, we know who made what. <laughs>